Hi YouTube, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can easily make background images or desktop wallpapers such as these. They require just a few steps and are done in under 5 minutes and look pretty awesome. So let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop. Let's open up a new file and I want it to be the size of my screen which is 1366 uh, to 768 with a white background. Okay, then I actually open up another file which is a picture I found on Google. Now it doesn't matter what picture you take, the only thing that is important is that it contains uh, bright areas as well as dark areas. Okay, so I just basically copy this over to my project and resize it so it fits my stage. There we go. Now I want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and I choose something between uh, 50 or 80 pixels. Now in this case this picture looks nice with uh, 75 pixels so I just pick that. Now I create a new layer um, actually I just go back to this layer and I want to uh, adjust the colors a little bit so it I want it more in a more blue fashion so uh, let's hit control B to uh, bring up the color balance as control B now um, we just adjust and play a bit with uh, these sliders until we you know shadows more blue and the highlights. Just play around a little bit until you find something that you really like. Now uh, this is not perfect but for the sake of the length of this tutorial I just go ahead and be happy with this. Now I go to my new layer and uh, what I'm gonna do is I select the elliptical marquee tool and I basically drag a really really big circle so I end up with something like this, um, you know, a slightly curved line. Now I go to my brush tool and I choose a soft uh, round brush with uh, about 200 pixel size. Now basically you just draw outside uh, your selection here with a white color. And you might have to try this a few times uh, because it gets tricky, tricky sometimes. Okay, there we go. Now, when you're happy with your drawing, you can deselect and you hit Control T and rotate the thing around and place it somewhere you like. Now you can uh, duplicate this layer twice or uh, how many times you want and same thing you just rotate the other layers slightly around there we go now you can uh, give these uh, some different colors as well you can go to blending options for each of these uh, layers and choose a color overlay for instance something uh, bluish and next layer maybe more red or I don't know whatever you like you get the idea okay now you see this is a really nice and cheap effect and uh, well you can use that in your projects or whatever. I hope this uh, video helped and you will find uh, a link to the actual tutorial down in the description. Now if you want to see more videos like this or have a request for a video tutorial uh, feel free to rate, comment and subscribe.